Hi guys, it's Danny here. This video is going to be a bit unusual, because today we are not going to look at games that have already been released. Instead, we are going to look a little bit into the future and look at the games that have yet to come out in the future. And we are going to look at the games with the juiciest and most detailed graphics. Of course, you can say that the graphics in the trailers may be very different from what we get in the end, as it was with Watch Dogs. But I suggest you put aside unnecessary worries today and just enjoy the nice graphics. And when these games are released, well, we'll look them over and over again and compare them with what was shown in the trailer. But before we begin, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Okay, let's get started. And today we will start with Atomic Heart. Right from the first glance, this game is really striking with its graphics. As for the gameplay, it is a first-person shooter in a parallel world where the Soviet Union still exists. The local scientists have made strong technological advances and create intelligent robots. But at some point they got out of control and attacked the personnel of Enterprise 3826. We have to took the role of an operative of the committee for state security, whose body is full of all sorts of innovative technological gizmos, and figure out what really happened to these machines. According to the developers, quite a lot of gameplay in Atomic Heart will be dedicated to completing various mini-puzzles and shootings with the local Soviet weapons. And now we have a game that will make all the Harry Potter fans cheer, as I'm talking about Hogwarts Legacy. It is a full-fledged action RPG game with stunning graphics and you'll be free to wander through the open world of the Harry Potter universe. You will be able to visit places and talk to characters you already know from the movies or books. And of course, you'll do a lot of magic here. In addition, you can visit the last essence of witchcraft. Learn and improve your cool skills and fight with the villains. Well, there is everything that any fan of Harry Potter wants. Next we have a game that's about to be released. Forspoken is an action game in a fantasy world and with excellent graphics. The game focuses a lot on the storyline, which tells us the story of an unusual young girl with outstanding magical powers. It is a New Yorker named Freya, who has found herself in the fabulous but dangerous world of Atia. That is where the further events will unfold. Our character will have to fight for her life, using all means available, including her magic abilities, which we will have to constantly upgrade. Despite all its danger, the world in the game is very beautiful, you can literally spend hours looking at it. Final Fantasy games have always been known for their excellent graphics, and the new JRPG Final Fantasy XVI is likely to be no exception. According to the devs, this game will be much more similar to the previous ones, and here we will be exploring a purely fantasy world without any technology and robots. It will be a complicated story about revenge, power struggle and unavoidable tragedy. The hangs over the world. And of course, it will be up to us to save everyone and bring back order to the world. Most of the Final Fantasy games feature the turn-based combat, but this time the game's devs promised to make real-time battles and they think that more people will enjoy it. <laughs> 
Stalker 2 is definitely worth mentioning today. We never know when this game is going to be released, but if it does come out, it will definitely get the attention due to its highly quality and detailed graphics. The game has already released a lot of trailers, where we could see the wonderful graphics, even the teeth of some bandit had his own model. We can only hope that the other elements of the game, like atmosphere, gameplay, story, characters, monsters, artifacts and locations, will not disappoint us and will be made as high quality as the graphics. Next year will bring us Black Myth Wukong. It is a role-playing game based on the famous 16th century Chinese novel Journey to the West. He will be traveling on the half-open world. The developers referred Souls-like game as the main source of inspiration for the game's creation. Players will be able to control the Monkey King, who will travel through the fantasy world, fighting with different monsters. Despite the fact that this project is developed by a rather small team. The quality of the graphics in the trailers is impressive. I think it can outshine even high-budget games. This summer will give us a new Diablo 4 action game. This time the story takes us 16 years after the events of Diablo 3, after millions of people were killed by the High Heavens and Blazing Hell actions. The bloody ritual brought back Mephisto's daughter Lilith. So we'll have to grab our sword and save the world again. The devs say that everything that the players liked in the previous parts will remain in Diablo form, and they will also add some new things. Now we will finally see an open world without loading screens, riding animals, detailed character customization, and new abilities of artificial intelligence. Monsters will unit against you, becoming more dangerous and even changing their tactics in battle. If you thought that racing games can't have cool graphics, you are deeply mistaken. Especially then it comes to the Forza Motorsport series. A new game is already planned for this year. The game's devs assure that it is going to be really fantastic and raise the bar of racing games, especially among simulation and competitive ones. The game will keep the unique style of the series and add the most interesting elements from Forza Horizon. The developers paid special attention to the dynamic change of day and night, completely redesigning its mechanics comparing to the previous games. Also, the driving mechanics was improved and the tracks and the cars we created from scratch using photogrammetry. Let's admit that it all sounds really exciting. I know that many of you are waiting for the new part of the, the Elder Scrolls, but not everyone knows that the developers are busy with an entirely different game, the sci-fi open-world role-playing game Starfield. The game's storyline will take place in the 24th century. The main character will be a member of Constellation, the organization of space explorers and one of the main factions in the game. It is expected to be a real space opera, which will allow you to go anywhere and become anything you want. The game will not give you a clear framework of how you should progress through it. Instead, it will give you the opportunity to explore any part of the galaxy at random. We will meet charismatic heroes, engage in trade, build spaceships and do lots of other interesting stuff. By the way, Bethesda games have never been known for their excellent graphics, but the trailers make the game look look just great. And here we have Witchfire next. Despite the fact that this game is not very popular, it looks pretty good. It is an adventure first-person shooter with horror elements in a dystopian fantasy world from the creators of Painkiller and Bullet Storm. In Witchfire world there is a war between the church and witches that lasts for centuries. The player will have to took on the rule of the hand of the church, carrying out penny 
punishments. Here we have to fight not only witches, but also a crowd of demons that have come from all over the world. You will have a huge arsenal of weapons and unusual skills at your disposal, which you will use to execute the sentences. Today we should also mention the RPG action game Dead Island 2. However, many people are waiting for it not because of the beautiful graphics, but because of the insanely detailed mutilation. The game's devs say that they have created fully anatomically correct models that take into account everything. The hair, skin, fat, muscles, bones and all organs. The game will be set a few months after the events of the previous one. The virus got to the sunny California, and the whole area is surrounded by the USA troops. The main character gets in the middle of zombie apocalypse and somehow manages to survive. He has to resist the army of living dead, using melee weapons and sometimes even firearms. The combat here is quite varied and includes dodging, kicking and jumping. Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found something interesting. And if so, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's been Danny, see you guys soon.